Welcome back. So now that we have Node.js up and running, the next step is going to be actually installing Yannick. Now Yannick needs to also use another set called Cordova, another project. Now Cordova, that is actually a patches way of converting HTML, CSS and JavaScript into something that's native-ish, right? So Cordova is kind of a library that can open up for some of the native things on your mobile app, like uh, camera access, uh, GPX access, stuff, stuff like that. That's kind of what Cordova can help you out with. Uh, so that's why we are installing both right here. We're both installing Cordova and we're installing Angular. And we're doing that using this npm install. This is the this is the node package management system, right? So this is the system where all the third part libraries are available. And we're saying install something from that uh, package system. Globally, that's the dash G, meaning to every, every project I'm using on this computer from now on can use this. And then we're saying we want to install the Cordova, which is again the cross-platform thing that can also help us actually go to native things on the phone, uh, combined with Yonic, which is kind of the framework for building a nice UI using Angular. So this is kind of how, how it's all bound together. Now let's just try and install this. Uh, this is on the Windows machine, you can do this, but on the Mac you'll actually have to put sudo in front of it to install. Let me just show you that in a second. So here the install on the Windows machine, and I'll just fire this line off. And here's the actual same thing on the Mac. Yes, I know, I have both. So let me just put that in there and then put sudo in front of this guy. Sudo. So it ends up being something like this. sudo npm install uh, g Cordova. Let's just try and launch this. It asks for my password, which is very secret. Uh, that's not the password, but that is what it is. And then it'll do something like this. Now I'm just running this on both machines. This will take a bit of time. So let me just jump to the end of this while it installs Cordova. So the installation is done on the Mac. That was because I already had it installed on the Mac, so it went a lot faster. I'll show you the total list on Windows in a second. Now the question could be, why are we using sudo in front of this? Well, it's because we need to be administrator on the machine to actually get access to some of the places where Cordova and uh, Yannick wants to place some information. So that's why you have to put in sudo or your installation will fail. You won't get all the information you need. If that happens, just run the same command again without the sudo and just write uninstall and then you can try again. So just like this, uninstall and then just do the install again with sudo in front of it. So then it will actually install, I hope, or else put a comment below the video and I'll try and help you guys out. So now Cordova and Yannick is installed on my Mac. Let's have a look at the Windows. Still working, let's give it a second. The Windows machine is done and just have a look at all of this beautifulness that we just installed to get Yannick and Cordova and actually also a bit of Angular <laughs> up and running here. There's a lot of packages. Now I don't wanna run over any of them, Just Think of these as third-party packages we require to actually use Yannick and work with Yannick. So there's a lot in here. Notice Cordova is one big chunk of it and then Yannick is the other big chunk of it. So now we actually have things up and running. Now, from now on, I'm actually going to move more and more into working with my Mac than on my Windows. But what I want you guys to know is it's exactly the same. There's a few shortcut keys that are different, but working with Mac or Windows here shouldn't make a difference. So see you in the next lesson where we'll have even more fun. Now Yannick and Cordova is installed.